Welcome to Ambercasts. Today I'm going to show you a demo of Resin, which is a small gem that I wrote to make developing with Amber much easier. So first things first, we're going to want to install the Resin gem. This can be accomplished for the simple gem install Resin, which is going to download the gem from rubygems.org and install it locally. Once it's been installed, you can type run resin, and that will bring up the Sinatra server that's running locally on port 4567. Um, we can go over to the browser, and we can go to localhost 4567, and see a simple resin blank page with a run IDE button on it. When you click run IDE, you get the full class browser and everything you would expect from Amber. So I'm going to kill sun, or kill resin, excuse me, and I'm going to make a couple directories, JS, ST, and views. JS and ST are where Amber is going to store its new packages. We're going to create an index.haml where we're going to start creating a new page for resin to serve up. I'm going to use the embed Amber helper, which is going to automatically generate our JavaScript include tags and our load amber function. Now I'll just put some other content in like hello world header and a, a simple div that we can put content in called resin container. And so I can still do development. I'm also going to put my own embed amber, or excuse me, not embed amber, um, <laughs> my own run amber IDE button onto the page, but only in development mode. We'll write and quit. Then we can run resin again. I'll jump back to a browser, hit reload. You'll we'll see that our new page is served up for us. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on Run Amber IDE and bring up the class browser again. And so now I'm just going to start defining a a package in a class. I'll create a Hello World in the package Resin Demo, and you'll see. Just like a regular Smalltalk browser, I can start defining a function. So I'm going to greet a user on the page. And what I'm going to do in this method is I'm just going to grab the resin container jQuery object, and I'm going to render some stuff inside of it. Let me click Save real quick. You'll see that our greet function is defined in the Smalltalk browser. But I want to say hello to the user and add a new uh, string onto the page. And we're going to put that string inside of the resin container. So we'll go ahead and render that and append to jQuery and pass our container in. And then let's hit save again. Before I do anything else, I'm going to make sure that I commit these packages to disk. And when I hit commit, if I jump back over to the terminal, my actual save changes were saved to disk. Um, and this is something that Resin provides in the development mode. So let me jump over to the workspace. Let's run hello world new greet. I'll say uh, greet lucky screencast viewer. We'll go ahead and run that. And now my element was added to the page under that resin container div. So let me copy this real quick and reload the page. And because we committed to disk when we run the Amber IDE again, we'll see that our resin demo package is loaded up automatically. And we can run 
our hello world string again and see that it's still working just as we might expect. And that's it.